welcome back to my channel. My name is Crimson for those of you that don't know me. If you are new here, welcome. In today's video, I want to show you guys how I got these big, voluminous, sluffy curls. And I got these curls using Bantu knots. And I know for some people, Bantu knots, look, for me, sometimes Bantu knots are a hit or a miss. You can do them and then they turn out terrible and you spend all that time for you to get a bunch of frizz and zero curl. Like I got a good amount of frizz, but we're so curly. So if you guys want to see how I got my hair like this, then just keep watching. Hey y'all, so I'm coming to you guys straight out the shower. I just did my whole wash day routine and I also did my deep conditioning. I just rinsed out my deep in, what? I just rinsed out my leave-in conditioner. So now that my hair is soaking wet, I'm trying to figure out how to dry it because normally when I do Bantu knots, or at least when I've done them before, I've blow dried my hair. So since I'm not doing any heat anymore, I'm not really sure how I wanna dry my hair for it to get the results that I normally do. And I know that some people use cool air to diffuse their curls when they wanna do like a wash and go type of thing. So I figured we could try to use cool air because I need my hair to be dry now. Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna come out the exact same way that it would if I was blow drying my hair with hot air, but we're about to find out, so yeah. So I'm just gonna take my hair out of this ponytail and I'm gonna get it in some sections and then I'm just gonna let you guys watch. definitely not what I'm used to because normally when I've blow dried my hair in the past it gets the end straight like as if I was prepping for like the flat iron but since I use cool air it doesn't really press and like slick your ends like hot air would and the only reason why I want my ends to be sleek is because when I do the bantu knots you want all of your hair you just want all your hair to be smooth so that it all comes out the same way once it's dry but we're still gonna go this route we're just gonna try to make it work Twenty minutes later. Cynthia, who? Basically gave me the same effect as if I were to just let it air dry overnight. But since I'm trying to get this video done, let's speed things up. So now that my hair is all dry, I'm gonna part it into sections. So I'm just gonna take all my hair out again. Basically, if I didn't work in sections, it would just be very inefficient. Okay, so I'm just gonna make this my first part so you guys can see what I'm doing because the front is gonna be easier to show you guys as normal. So the products I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna use the Miel Moisturizing Hair Milk. Then I'm also gonna use Eco Style Gel just to make sure that the curl will hold. Now when I use the Eco Style Gel, I'm only gonna use a little bit on my fingers just for the ends. So. I'm just gonna put a little bit all around the piece. And then taking my brush, I'm just gonna smooth everything out. And if you really wanna wear these out and really make them look cute, you can use a hard bristle brush to really smooth the roots. Now I'm just gonna take the hair and then I'm gonna twist it around itself. And then at the very end of the hair, I'm taking more of the conditioner because you really want the end to be smooth. You can even take more gel if you want to. And then you can either use a bobby pin or a small rubber band because I feel like the rubber bands are easier to sleep with. So I'm just gonna use those. So I'm just gonna let you guys watch how I do the rest. Also, if you're just gonna wear these to bed just to take them out in the morning, you do not 
have to worry about how straight the parts oops. You don't have to worry about how straight the parts are or if they're triangle, square, circle, that doesn't matter. The only thing that matters about the part is the bigger you make your parts is going to be the bigger your curl is. So if your curl is going to be bigger and looser, you want to do bigger parts. And if you want like smaller like coils, then just make them smaller. Also, another reason why I wanted my hair to be stretched before I did them was because if I were to do them with wet hair, then I would have gotten a little bit more shrinkage. And it also gives you a little bit of volume too, so. So I'm back. My hair is all finished. They came out so cute. I'm gonna show you guys the back. They look so cute after I laid my edges. Y'all, this, these have to be the best I've ever done. And I really think it's because of the triangle parts and the edges. Like, like y'all could really dress this up with some earrings, a cute dress. You can really go out with this hairstyle. This does not have to be just a go to sleep with a bonnet on type of hairstyle. Like, if I had anywhere to go, I'd wear it out. But it's getting super late now and my battery is about to die. So I'm just gonna show you guys a full spin and then I'll be back tomorrow morning to show you guys how it looks after I take it out. Okay, so we're finally back the next day. So I'm just gonna take this off. Yes, they stayed. Anytime I do these and they stay in overnight, I just feel so accomplished. And that's also the reason why I use rubber bands instead of like body pins or anything because I sleep hard. Like if I were to do these and then just put body pins in and then go to sleep, they would not be in the next morning. If you do have a bunch of like regular hair ties, you can use those. If you aren't careful with the little rubber bands in your hair, it can rip your hair out. But if you are extra careful, you'll be okay. But yeah, using bobby pins is not an option because they're gonna come out. So even though these are super cute and I kind of just want to leave them in, I'm gonna take them out just to show you guys what the curl pattern is gonna look like. Every time I take out a braid out, twist out, anything, I'm gonna use my argan oil because it's gonna prevent bunch of frizz and I'm just untwisting just like that and then the rubber band kind of took itself out I guess I'm just gonna take all the knots out and then I'm gonna separate the curls all right now I'm just gonna take all of these big curls and separate them. And then I'm just gonna make smaller curls. Okay y'all, now that my hair is out, I'm just gonna take my pick. I'm just gonna fluff it and fill in any gaps. Yeah. 
This is so cute. I feel like a whole different person. Okay, a whole, a whole different person that might be dramatic. This is a whole different look than if I was just to leave it in the knots. Just depends on what you're going for. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I'm just gonna turn around and show you how it all looks. All right, you guys, so that's all I have for this video. I hope you all liked it. If you did like this video or if you plan to try this hairstyle on yourself, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next one.